I got excited by the idea of doing a new, very beautiful, very romantic Traviata. The main concept for this new Traviata is that when the curtain rises, we're at Violetta's deathbed. She's about to transcend life and move into the afterlife. In that one moment, that last flickering moment of consciousness, she has a kind of fever dream in which she relives the events that brought her to her final moments on Earth. Um, and so we are then pulled back as if in a dream life to that first party that she has. It's springtime, the flowers are everywhere, this beautiful room comes to life and the feeling of possibility and potential. The next scene takes place in the country and it's the summertime, so it's the full flowering of their romance. The third scene, we're setting on Halloween, so it's the fall and it's rust and the decay is there and the dancers come in and it's kind of a dance of death, day of the dead sort of feeling. You see that this is heading towards the cold winter, which is where we end up, so we come full circle. It's always dangerous to say, is it the greatest Verdi opera? I mean, they're all great, so it's difficult to say the greatest but definitely one that is, I think, all Verdi is in this Traviata. It's at the, in the middle of this production, this musical production, and there is an incredible intimacy about it, and yet a certain grandeur that uh, we can see that he will explore more uh, in later years. Um, but for me, the, the tenderness of it and the incredible matching of the, the dramatic tension, the beauty of the music, and uh, the proportions of the piece it just makes it a perfect opera. I was really lucky that my first time out doing an opera, I had Damrau singing Gilda for me, and we had a sensational time, and she was just magnificent. And I was also very fortunate that I got to see her sing Violetta for the first time at the Met. She was. Again, it's just sensational. We talked about doing a new Traviata, and she was going to play Violetta. I felt really uh, lucky because I love the way that she acts when she sings. She knows she's going to die, and she's probably never experienced real love. And it hits her like, like a lightning. This last year of her life is it's full and filled with every emotion and feeling a, a human being can, uh, yeah, can feel <laughs> and experience, and. For me, this is a real treasure. It's ironic because she's sick. She has um, consumption from the time we meet her, and yet she's full of life, and she's full of love, and she wants so much to be able to give and receive love from someone. So you see her when her, her appetites are completely alive, and so when she meets this young man, and and falls in love, she gives herself completely to him. And I think that audiences love to see people, not just women, but people fall in love and give themselves so completely to that.